what brought us here to Guyana was to explore for and, and develop the, the natural resources in the form of oil and gas in the country. And thankfully for all of us, we've been tremendously successful in that, that journey. And, and because of that, we're in this, this great position where we've also been able to set aside a tremendous fund, the Greater Guyana Initiative, to support these kind of projects, um, which ultimately are going towards not developing the oil and gas, but the most important and valuable resource in the country, which is the people. And so that is what GGI is all about. It's saying oil and gas is a finite resource. The future of the country depends upon the development of the people. And we, we needed and wanted to invest in the people. This faculty of engineering and technology for many decades has been the stepchild of this university. It has been under-resourced both in terms of human resources and in terms of physical resources. Why? Because in the 60 years of the university's history. It was never, I guess, perceived, hoped, maybe it was hoped, but definitely never perceived, that a day would come in our country when we would need four times as many engineers as this faculty could produce. So everything in the faculty was very small, very tiny. 20 students here, 15 students there. But with the advent of ExxonMobil's fantastic success in Guyana, our faculty continues to grow as many young persons want to participate in the country's burgeoning oil and gas industry. This year, we graduated our highest number of students 370, 370 students at both the bachelor and associate levels. This represents a 72% increase over the last six years. Another interesting statistic is that 100 of these students were girls, representing a growth of nearly 250% over the same period.